All right, guys, welcome to Colossus Mathematics class. Um, in today's class, we'll be talking about inverse function. Don't forget, in the last class, I discussed with you guys on function, how to solve questions on function. But today, I'll be talking about how to find the inverse of function. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. All right, so let's say we have these four questions. Quickly, want to run through these questions. We want to find the inverse function of each question. Now, inverse function is always represented like this. So, find inverse function of x. I get what I'm saying of all these questions. Now, the solution. The solution to these questions. Now, first, if you want to find the inverse function, the first thing you have to do, if you look at our first example, you see that we have f of x to be what? 5 minus 9x. What you will do is you let f of x be any letter. Let's say y. So let f of x be y. So that means anyway, you see f of x now, you are putting what? y equals what? 5 minus what? 9x. So after that, you make your x the subject of formula. Make x set of formula. So if you are making x set of formula, that will be y minus 5 equals to minus 9x then 9x equals to so you multiply this one by minus so that will be 5 minus y i get what i'm saying now so after that don't forget we are trying to make x the subject of formula so divide both side by 9 9 cancel cancel then your x is equals to what 5 minus what y equals to what 9 now don't forget that what are we finding f inverse we want to find f inverse so after getting it to this stage you now replace your x you replace your x with what f inverse of x and then you replace your y with x so that'll be five minus what x over nine and therefore this is the inverse function of this function that we have here all right so let's the second one we have f of x to be equals to 4x over 5 minus x. So the same thing. So let's say let f of x be a. So that will have what? a equals what? 4x over what? 4x over 5 minus x. So you cross multiply. If you cross multiply, you have what? a open bracket. 5 minus x equals to 4x and then you have what 5a minus what ax equals what 4x don't forget you are trying to make your x the sort of formula and then add what 5a equals what 4x minus what i mean plus ax so after that the next thing you need to do is to see what is common in this part and if you are with me you see that x is common on this part yes yeah, so you have x to be common there then you will be left with what four minus what i mean plus a so the next thing to do is to divide both sides by four plus a so four plus a and that will have what x equals to what 5 a over what 4 plus a i get what i'm saying that means after getting your x as well the formula then you replace your x to what 5 inverse of i mean f inverse of what x and anywhere you see your e you replace it with what x so that's 5x 4 plus a and you can see, if you look at our question, you see that we have 4x over 5, 5 minus x. So you can see that like a ton, a ton. I get what I'm saying now. So that is the way it is. I get what I'm saying now. All right. So um, this is supposed to be x. So you replace that to be x. Then the third example, before we wrap up for today, the third example, this one we have f of x, we have our f of x to be what? 
the fifth root of 2x plus 11. So let, let f of x be, let's say, p. So that will have what? p equals what? The cube root of what? 2x plus 11. So what's the first thing you do there? Like, man, um, let's put um, this cube root, like something like square, you know? If it is square, I will square both sides. If it is um, cube root, I will cube both sides. Now, this is fifth root. So you have to multiply everything by the power of five. So this will multiply with the power of five. Then this will now become two x plus 11. So this will be p raised power five equals to two x plus 11. Don't forget you are making next rate of formula. So that will be p raised power five minus 11 equals to two x. Then from here you can see that your x will be what? p raised power five minus 11 all over what? Two. Then now I say f inverse of x equals what? x raised to the power five minus 11 all over what? Two. So that is your final answer. Then the last question, which is what? f of x equals to one plus two x over seven plus x. So I'll leave you with that to do and submit your answer on the comment section. There'll be a gift for the first person to do that. Thank you very much. See you in the next class.